Wow, does that suck. Uh, man. Uh, dang. You know, last second shots are great to watch. Unless they're made against your team. Uh, 81-80, Wake Forest over Texas. You know, I told you guys that you didn't watch the vids. Um, I didn't have Texas going very far. I had them losing the next round of Kentucky. Um, and, of course, I'd, I'd let them never know this was not a gimme game by any means. Wake Forest is a, a team that was struggling like we were, but like we were a very talented team. And uh, this was a fight back and forth. And, you know, it really came down. And, you know, maybe it's justice. Maybe it's, uh, you know, what we deserve or whatever. Um, because... All year, I've heard, y'all heard me harp on, everyone here, you know, this team's talented, this team knows how to play together, but what's the main thing? Free throws. Make your free throws. And it came back and bit us in the butt because, you know, we, we lucked out there at the end of regulation close to it um, with their guy who had got a great job doing like, getting a turnover for them. Then he decided to walk, walk on the sideline when he was only able to stand, gave us the ball back, End up getting one free throw made out of that, sent into overtime. Well, so we're fortunate to be there, and we come out in overtime, and we come out blazing. We hit two threes, get fouled. We get an eight-point run to start overtime, and I did. I thought it was over then. I really did. I thought, um, you know, let's get ready for Kentucky. I want to see what our team can do against them, and, you know, they slowed but surely. Wake came back in it. We didn't offer any resistance. And they, we got to the free throw game. And our best free throw shooter, and he actually is, and it's you know it's not even the best free throw shooter for Texas. He's, he's a great free throw shooter in Jacobin Brown, who was one of the main reasons we were able to stay in that game. Went one for one, or went one for two um, from the free throw line. Made a four-point game. Wake hit a three. We get the ball back in. Jacobin rather than hold, trying to hold the ball and get himself fouled, pass it to Gary Johnson, who really pretty much anybody else, if you throw it to anybody else on the Texas team, uh, your your chance of making free throws go down, especially in, in pressure situations. Gary misses both, and then Wade goes down, that Smith kid who tours up all game, hits a basket with a, a second point three left. Um, mm. You know, and it sucks because, like, when, when, like I said, uh, when we when we opened up in overtime, I really did. I thought it was over, uh, but that shows that's how sports go. You know, you can ne- never assume anything. So congratulations, Wake. Um, great job. And I will say, you know, even as a Texas fan, um, and it's hard for me to say this because my team got beat like this. This was a great day of games. I mean, almost every game came down to the wire. A lot of upsets, but even the games that weren't upsets, um, you know, the favorites had to work to get their victories. So. Uh, a lot of high quality basketball. A lot of teams fighting, wanting this. Um, I am proud of this Texas team. Um, you know, it sucks that this is the last game for Damian James, Dexter Pittman, and uh, Justin Mason. I felt Dexter once again really didn't. Uh, you know, he didn't live to his potential throughout the season. Um, still love the guy. Still wish he was coming back next year, but he's a senior. Um, Damian James took him a while to get into the rhythm of this game, um, but he's been a great leader for this team. Um, I hate the fact that you know this team has so much promise. Uh, but really just couldn't, you know, really hit a hit a speed bump there in the middle of the season and uh, kind of carried over in, here into the, in the tournament. Uh, you know, once again, congrats, Wake. Uh, I don't want any Texas fans, you know, saying it doesn't matter because they're going to kill by Kentucky anyway. You know, that may happen. Kentucky may kill Wake Forest, um, but Wake gets a shot, and that's all you want. In this kind of tournament, what you want is a shot. You just want a shot at the top teams. Um, and I think, you know, there's no team that's in, in, uh, invincible, not one team. And can Wake Forest beat Kentucky? I think they can. Do I think they will? No, I think Kentucky will win. Um, but we'll see what happens. Uh, they got a better shot at beating Kentucky than we do because we don't even get to play them. So uh, but that's that's March. That's the madness of it all. Um, interesting season, Texas. Uh, you know, a lot of. A lot of high hopes to start the season with, 17-0. and 0. Uh, Then uh, something happened. Uh, something this team stopped measuring. I don't know if Rick, you know, tried to change his coaching up. I don't know what happened. That or, you know, the conference is just that good, and we couldn't live up to it. So, um, as I said, 
you know, we started off one of the best teams in the country, and now we're definitely not one of the best teams in the state. Um, Baylor struggling with Sam Houston, but that's to be expected when it's your first time to really be a contender. They got the job done, though. Texas A&M's got Utah State tomorrow. I think Utah State is going to give Texas A&M a game, but I do think the, the A&M Aggies will pull that out. Um, congrats to both of those teams. Um, those teams uh, really prove that they are one of the better teams in the state. Uh, Texas, I think next year, all these freshmen will be back. Talented group coming in. Um, so we'll see. I, I, I think, once again, next year will be a factor. Um, but there's going to have to be some kind of culture, something that's got to change for this team to make it to that next level. So you hate to see your team go out in the very first game of the March Madness, but someone's got to go out. Someone's got to get beat on the last second shot. This year's going to be my team. So hook them horns, Texas fight, but congrats, Wake Forest.